Then Job answered them, I'm sure you think you are the only wise people left. You think that when you die, wisdom will be gone with you. But my mind is as good as yours. You aren't any smarter than I am. You haven't said anything that people don't already know. My friends laugh at me now. They say, he prayed to God and got his answer. I am a good, innocent man, but still they laugh at me. Those who have no troubles make fun of those who do. They hit a man when he's down. But robbers' tents are not bothered. Those who make God angry live in peace, even though God has them in his power. But ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or ask the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth, and it will teach you. Or let the fish in the sea tell you their wisdom. Everyone knows the Lord made these things. Every animal that lives and everyone who breathes, they are all under God's power. But just as the tongue tastes food, the ears test the words they hear. People say, wisdom is to be found in those who are old. Long life brings understanding. But wisdom and power belong to God. Good advice and understanding are His. Anything God tears down cannot be rebuilt. Anyone He puts in prison cannot be set free. If He holds back the rain, the earth will dry up. If He lets the rain loose, it will flood the land. God is strong and always wins. He controls those who fool others and those who are fooled. He strips advisors of their wisdom and makes leaders act like fools. He strips kings of their authority and makes them slaves. He strips priests of their power and removes those who feel so secure in their position. He makes trusted advisors be silent. He takes away the wisdom of the older leaders. He brings disgrace to important people. He takes power away from rulers. He exposes even the darkest secrets. He sends light into places that are as dark as death. God makes nations great and then he destroys them. He makes nations grow large and and then he scatters their people. He makes their leaders foolish. He makes them wander around in the desert. They are like someone feeling their way in the dark. They are like drunks who don't know where they're going. I have seen all this before. I have already heard everything you say. I understand all these things. I know as much as you do. I am as smart as you are. But I don't want to argue with you. I want to speak to God, all-powerful. I want to argue with God about my troubles. But you men try to cover up your ignorance with lies. You are like worthless doctors who cannot heal anyone. I wish you would just be quiet. That would be the wisest thing you could do. Now, listen to my argument. Listen to what I have to say. Will you speak lies for God? Do you really believe your lies are what God wants you to say? Are you trying to defend God against me? You are not being fair. You are choosing God's side simply because He is God. If God checked you very closely, would He see that you're right? Do you really think you could fool God the same as you fool people? You know that God would criticize you if you chose someone's side simply because they were important. God's majesty frightens you. You are afraid of Him. The wise sayings you quote are worthless. Your arguments are as weak as clay. Be quiet and let me talk. I accept whatever happens to me. I will put myself in danger and take my life in my own hands. I will continue to trust God even if he kills me. But I will defend myself to his face. And if he lets me live, it will be because I had the confidence to speak. No guilty person would dare meet God face to face. Listen carefully to what I say. Let me explain. I am ready now to defend myself. I will carefully present my arguments. I know I will be shown to be right. If anyone can prove I am wrong, I will shut up and wait to die. God, just give me two things, and then I will not hide from you. Stop punishing me, and don't frighten me with your terrors. Then call to me, and I will answer you. Or let me speak, and you answer me. How many sins have I committed? What wrongs have I done? Show me where I went wrong or how I sinned. God, why do you avoid me and treat me like your enemy? Are you trying to scare me? 
I am only a leaf blowing in the wind. You are attacking a piece of straw. You have a list of terrible charges against me. Are you making me suffer for the sins I did when I was young? You have put chains on my feet. You watch every step I take. You see every move I make. So I am becoming weaker and weaker, like a piece of wood rotting away, like a piece of cloth eaten by moths. We are all human beings. Our life is short and full of trouble. Our life is like a flower. It grows quickly and then dies away. Our life is like a shadow that is here for a short time and then is gone. God, do you need to keep an eye on something so small? Why bother to bring charges against me? No one can make something clean from something so dirty. The length of our life has been decided. You alone know how long that is. You have set the limits for us and nothing can change them. So stop watching us. Leave us alone. And let us enjoy this hard life until we have put in our time. There is always hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it can grow again. It will keep sending out new branches. Its roots might grow old in the ground, and its stump die in the dirt. But with water, it will grow again. It will grow branches like a new plant. But when a man dies, he becomes weak and sick, and then he is gone. Like a lake that goes dry or a river that loses its source, so people lose their lives, never to live again. The skies will all pass away before they rise from death. The skies will all disappear before anyone wakes up from that sleep. I wish you would have hid me in my grave. I wish you'd have hid me there until your anger is gone. Then you could pick a time to remember me. If a man dies, will he live again? If so, I would gladly suffer through this time waiting for my release. God, you would call me, and I would answer you. Then I, the one you made, would be important to you. You would still watch every step I take, but you would not remember my sins. It would be as if you had sealed my sins in a bag. It would be as if you had covered my guilt with plaster. Mountains fall and crumble away. Large rocks break loose and fall. Water flowing over stones wears them down. Floods wash away the soil on the ground. In the same way, God, you destroy the hope people have. You defeat them completely, and then they are gone. You change the way they look and send them away forever to the place of death. If their sons are honored, they will never know it. If their sons do wrong, they will never see it. They only feel the pain in their bodies, and they alone cry for themselves.